What's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great brew day, actually, because there lies the real great day. The greatest... Anyway, I'm not going to get on a tangent. It is 9.40, and I don't really have much time, so let's get rolling. So, when I was doing my coffee brew, I, after a week of fermentation, I decided to check the uh, hydrometer reading. I wanted to see what it was. Or really, in my crate... In my case, the refractometer meeting. I checked it, it was 1.02. I said, okay, well, fermentation's almost done. Went a week later, fermentation or the final gravity is still 1.02. So, my fermentation stopped. It stalled. It died on me. Why would you do that to me? Correction, not the yeast fault, it's your fault. Or in this case, it's my fault. So I figured like, may as well just make a YouTube video about it, talking about why your fermentation has stopped. Got a few examples right here, but surprise, surprise, the answer is temperature. But we'll get into temperature later. Let's start off with the yeast itself. So the reason why your fermentation has probably stopped could be that you're using old yeast. As we checked in the last video, we found out that liquid yeast had a shorter shelf life. So, it is possible that you didn't put that in your calculation when you were doing your yeast pitching or your pitching rate. So there's a chance that it's still old and you don't have enough yeast in your fermentation. Me, I did dry yeast and I put plenty of yeast in my uh, little three I forgot how much I forgot how much wine I have in there or I forgot how much I actually have in my brew but I think it's maybe three cups yeah about three cups exactly so I obviously put enough yeast in there could it have been old not really my yeast packets are not even a year old so I can rule out my yeast. Under pitching. Again, I can rule out the under pitching because I know I put way more than necessary. And then temperature. Bada bing, bada boom, it's the temperature. Most of the time it's gonna be the temperature. If your yeast stalled, it's gonna be due to temperature. Now, on the forums that I read online, it's due to the temperature dropping too cold. So the best thing to do is to stir it up and put it into a warmer environment and this makes sense for me during my first uh, during the first week of my coffee brew fermentation we actually had a storm at my place lightning actually struck the house and my ink bird the old model right here died on me it will not plug in it will not turn on no matter what plug I put it in in the house so it completely died and since then, I actually forgot I have the brew in there. And I think it may have been three days before I went to check on it. So it had a high fluctuation change. Here in the south, oh my goodness, it's been super humid uh, these past few days. Good Lord. Anyway, you had a very dramatic temperature change. And I'm sure that that had to do with it. So... This actually died on me, but I contacted Ink Bird, showed them a video and picture of this, and they were actually able to send me a replacement within three days. And so, thank you, Ink Bird. I would definitely recommend their product if you're looking for something like this. Sorry, Dad. Gonna have to call you later. <laughs> so, to get your fermentation back on, just put it into a warm environment and give your yeast to stir to have it submerge and just let it sit again. Now, me, I didn't do that. I left it at 1.02. I kind of wanted a sweet brew. I like my coffee to be a bit sweet. I wanted this to be a sweet uh, brew. So I just left it right there. And as you saw in the video, or as you're seeing right now, as I am voicing over it, I don't know. I'm transferring from the primary fermentation to the secondary fermentation which is what it's in right now. So as any brewer knows, oxygen is more favorable when it's in a wart stage 
than it is once it's fermenting. Once it's fermenting, oxygen is actually deadly, deadly on beer. It just makes it terrible. But for a wart, it's very good. Now, for, I don't know what you would call this. All I know is that it had gone through fermentation and oxygen is bad for it. Oh, okay. That's actually promising. So, if you can see, might not be able to. But there's just a lot of headroom in there. Yeah, there's a lot of headroom in there that most likely if I were to do this again, I would try to have more coffee in here. Uh, maybe show it up with more water. Don't really know. But there's a lot of headroom. But the cap is very pressurized. So that means I know that uh, oxygen or carbon dioxide had been produced in here since I've been letting it sit. And it had created a good vacuum seal on it or good pressure on it. So that's good to know. So no oxygen going in and any oxygen that was in here had been replaced with the CO2 that the secondary fermentation has been going through. And I'm just going to leave this sit for a month, so I'll open it back up on August the 25th. So, good luck, good luck with that video. I am going to have a hell of a time editing this. How silly of me. I was doing my video editing, and I did not talk about the coffee brew itself. So, the wart was created on 712. The original gravity was 1.055. As you can see in the video, I did not measure how much honey I was using. I was only doing the reading for the specific gravity. So, that lasted about two weeks. And then the second fermentation uh, started on 725. The final gravity was a 1.02. Based on the calculation, the ABV is 4.6%, which I think that's actually going to be pretty good. One more thing I forgot to mention was what did it smell like when I transferred it over to the second fermentation? It smelled like coffee. I know, right? So crazy. It smelled really good. Uh, dark coffee note, roasted note, uh, toffee, that flavor. Uh, very sweet. It, I think stopping the fermentation at a 1.02 was actually a very beneficial. I don't think a very dry coffee would have been that great. And it was a very short video, or it could be a very long video, but I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for my subscribers who already are following. But thank you so much and have a great day.